Hi, thank you for watching our video. Well, if you want more help in physics content, check out our bio and click on to the Project Lightbot teaching series. We have a lot of physics content that is created and I'm sure you'll benefit too. So sit back now and then watch the practical. All right, we are doing the 2019 Combined Science Practical paper. Let's read the question quickly. We are going to use the apparatus shown in figure 1.1 to determine a value for acceleration of g. The good thing about this is we kind of already know g is about 9.8 to 10, so that will help you check your answer later. Measure the total length of strip L. So this is my strip L. Record L to the nearest 0 0.1 cm. So this one will get me the first one mark. So let's do it. The easiest earn one mark. You should at least get one mark. Okay, it's 50.0 cm so i just write down here in fact i think i can use a pen 50.0 so remember so it's 0 0.1 so even if it's 50 you give it a 0 0.0 that should you that will let you get the one mark a line has been drawn on the strip through the center of mass i think they're referring to this line i don't know this line okay measure the length l between the center of mass of the strip this line and the furthest edge of whole one whole one will be here so they want the distance between here to here. So where do I place the ruler? Do I place uh, the zero marking here? No, you always use a longer line strip. Then there will be a better reference. See? Okay. Right. Then they want it to the furthest edge of this of the circle. So let me use the mechanical pencil to show you. So that means it's like this point. So this is twenty three point six. Okay, twenty three point six. Uh, twenty three point six. Write it in figure one point one, table one point one over here. Okay, so I think whole one is this. So this is twenty three point six, right? So they want it point one. So it's always good to write down over here. Measure the length between the center of mass of the strip and the furthest edge of hole. So they want me to repeat for the rest of the holes. Record. So later I will get this done. Okay, next let's look, understand the experiment first so we have an overview. Okay, set up the uh, apparatus. Using each hole, you'll measure the time taken for the swinging strip to complete 10 full cycles. Only record one value. So I think there will be some human error there and there will be no averaging. So that's a potential last mark question which I'm expecting. Clamp the cock, make sure optical pin is horizontal. Let's look at our pin. Okay, I think roughly it's like horizontal. Okay, I think that's, that's why it's done. Place a pin through hole one. Make sure the strip can swing freely. Move the bottom about 2 cm from its vertical position into position A. Alright, so I think they want me to mount it like this and move it a bit and swing. Okay, alright. So this is what they want. Release the strip when the bottom returns to A, start the stopwatch. When the strip returns to A, it has completed cycle number one. So this is oscillation. We all learned that. Continue to count when the strip. So they want 10 oscillations. This is the time for 10. Uh, then later we measure up to 0 0.01. So this is 0 0.01. Okay, repeat the procedure. Record your value. Then after that, we do calculation. Okay, so that's easy. Let's get started with this part of the table first. So again, I place my ruler, mark my L. Okay, place it on one straight, consistent line through all the holes. Okay, so I'm going to start with actually hole six first, since it's near over here. So this is three point eight. Okay, my hole number five is seven point nine. Hole number four is. 12.2 Hole number 3 is 15.4 So you see that my finger is here to anchor the ruler so I don't keep shifting Okay, and then next is 19.8 So I got one part of the table done Okay, now the actual experiment itself Okay, okay let's do it Let's start from hole 1 I'm going to mount it here Right, so we're gonna allow it to swing. Okay, so I was only start the stopwatch when it comes back to the first oscillation. Then I start counting. Okay, so the, you don't let go of 
the street and press your stopwatch at the same time. So because you may not be able to coordinate that well. So so we're gonna move here a bit. So I know they say that you lift it two centimeters, but what they want you to do is to have a consistent place where you let go of your strip. Okay, so you don't want to let go too little, so you may not have enough uh, energy to move. So I'm going to use this, then I will try to keep using this. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, all right. So I have... 11.53 so it's 2.1 11.53 okay so that's one set move it down to the next hole okay all right reset my stopwatch same place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay Take it down. 10.97. Okay, hole number three. So you realize that it gets slower and slower towards the end. So it's important for you to maintain the rhythm of the count. So I think later you will understand why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, okay, right, 10.81, so how do I know that I'm fairly on the right track, you see that my values are like decreasing, so same pattern, so most likely I'll get this kind of line, okay, hole number 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, alright, yep, okay, stand by, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten point seven eight. Getting very close, very close. Okay, so most likely in the exam hall you may not be able to count out that loudly. So just, but it's always good to count out and not just count in your head. So you you can like whisper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, all right. Okay, so I know you saw, but that strip is not moving. Why do you continue to count? Of course, I have to continue to count because the whole thing is that it's supposed to be a rhythm. But because it's so close to the CG, all right, and 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 the the mass of the paper is not enough, so we can't have it continuously going, but this exams, all right? So we just have to continue. So that's why it's very important for you to keep the rhythm. Okay, so I'm going to like move it a little bit more so that I can, I get more momentum, okay? One, wait, wait, let me do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, all right. That's great imagination skills. Okay, but this is how it is. Okay, we gotta do it like this. So I have a set of readings, and then uh, the next part I'm gonna do the calculation. So okay, why not I just continue with that quickly? All right. So for t square, I will have to give uh, my answer the closest. Point one, so it's easy. Eleven point five three uh, square, so it's one three two point nine. Ten point nine seven square. One two zero point three. Ten point eight one. Ten point eight one square. One one six point nine. Ten point seven eight square. One one six point two. This is the easiest part to get marks. Just have to make sure you punch the correct things. No excuse. You should not lose marks here. One four zero point two. The last one. Bring it home, baby. Two five six. Okay. Point zero. You're not gonna get me right. So then point one. Okay. All right. The next uh, L square nearest hole number. So these are the little traps. So hole number. So hole number. Okay. No decimal place. Twenty three point six. 
square five five seven. Nineteen point eight square three nine two. Fifteen point four square two three seven. Twelve point two square one four nine. Seven point nine square sixty two. Three point eight square fourteen. Right, last part. T squared divided by L, so this divided by this, nearest whole number again, so no decimal place. Oh, T squared times L, oh, alright, thank you my little L for telling me. Okay, oh, it's T squared times L, it's not even L squared, oh, almost got me, so it's this and this, okay, so it's this one and this one. So, 23.6 times... This one, yeah, one three two point nine three one three six nineteen point eight times one two zero point three two three eight two very big values fifteen point four times one one six point nine one eight zero zero twelve point two times one one six point two one four one eight seven point nine times one four zero point two, one one zero eight, three point eight times two five six, nine seven three. Okay, so I got everything right. Then the next video will draw the graph. Thank you for staying through the entire physics practical. Now, if you like the practical video, remember to click on like and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Well, if you need more help in the physics content, go to our bio and check out our Project Lightbot teaching series. Well, we have a series of very good teaching videos on physics. I believe it can benefit you. Check it out.